Greeting citizens of the European society. We are anonymous. According to the online e-newspaper, Information, Morten Messerschmidt, has defrauded the EU Parliament, for 4.36 million in Danish currency, from 2014 to the end of 15. Messerschmidt has presumably misused EU funds, which also apply to other fictitious conferences, pens for half a million, and another half a million in Danish currency to advertisements for Messerschmidt and the Danish People's Party. The EU fraud unit Olaf has completed its investigation into the case of misuse of EU funds, which was granted to the European Alliance Meld and the Felt Foundation, which was led by Danish Morten Messerschmidt. Olaf concludes that, for a number of years, the fund had illegal, irregular or unjustified expenditure of around 4.36 million in Danish currency. Money that, among other things, has gone to the election campaign for the Danish People's Party. In 2011, the European Alliance Meld, Movement for a Europe of Liberties and Democracy, and the Foundation Feld, Foundation for a Europe of Liberties and Democracy, were founded. The purpose was to bring together European parties, on the nationalist right wing, including the Danish People's Party. Morten Messerschmidt, was president of both organizations from 2014, until they had to close in 15, according to the Althing. They could no longer gather members, from at least a quarter of EU member states. This was the requirement for the organizations, to receive support from the EU. The funds allocated to the organizations, were conditional on their use of activities, related to the organization and the EU. They were not to be used for campaigns, affecting national elections or referendums. The Danish newspaper Extra Newspaper has on several occasions revealed, that the Danish People's Party, has reported fictitious conferences, to the EU system to justify, the use of grants from the fund. Instead, the party has spent the money, on summer group meetings in 2014 and 15, with entertainment, from men's decor, gala dinner and hotel. Later, Extra Newspaper, was able to reveal, that the money for Meld, had also gone to finance a private girlfriend trip, for a former Minister of Taxation and Defense, Peter Christensen, also in the organizations, there was a mess in the economy. When an employee left the funds in 2015, it was with an annual income, of 3.2 million in Danish currency, including a golden handshake, of 1.3 million in Danish currency, bonuses and fees. The European Parliament ruled, that the cost of leaving the staff member, should not be covered by grants. Messerschmidt has paid around 1 million back to the EU. But the money was paid back, with prepaid grants for 2015, which were also EU funds. Messerschmidt admitted this to Extra Newspaper. Extra Newspaper later revelations, of DF's alleged misuse of EU funds, also include other fictitious conferences, pens for half a million and another half a million in Danish currency, for advertisements for Messerschmidt and the Danish People's Party. Meld, closed at the end of 2015, with a deficit of half a million. In May 2016, the European Parliament's political leadership decided, that both Meld and Feld, misused EU funds, to lead the Danish municipal election campaign. During the case, it emerged, that the former member of the Danish People's Party, Rick Carlson, has reported Morten Messerschmidt to the police, for identity theft. She believes, she has been reported to Meld's board, without knowing it. She and former party colleague, Jordan Dorman, were registered at the Foundation's general meeting in 2014, without being present. The documents have been signed, by Morten Messerschmidt. It later emerged that, the deputy chairman of DF, Peter Skarup, has had a role as vice president of Feld, allegedly also without his own knowledge. How much responsibility Morten Messerschmidt has for the specific cases, has not yet been decided. The EU's anti-fraud unit Olaf, has stated that 4.36 million in Danish currency, has been spent illegally. How large a share of the amount has accrued to DF, is not stated in the information that has emerged so far. According to Olaf, part of the total amount, 127,600 euros, equivalent to about 950,000 in Danish currency, 
has already been repaid. Olaf has since handed over the case to Soik, also known as the behind-the-scenes police, which has investigated the Danish People's Party and Morten Messerschmidt, and he has since stated that he can completely deny that the organizations have committed something criminal. The third court hearing on the 7th of August 2021, in the criminal case, against DF's deputy chairman, Morten Messerschmidt, about EU fraud and forgery, became a less fortunate day for the main character, for as the prosecution, using digital channels and first a French-speaking, and later a German-speaking interpreter, got answers to their questions, two witnesses had contradicted a central element of Messerschmitt's explanation. As previously mentioned in information, the criminal case has been cut, so that it only concerns, a summer event in August 2015, where the Danish People's Party, received almost 100,000 in Danish currency, in support from the EU, via the party alliance meld, where Messerschmitt was president. Here, Messerschmitt has maintained, that this was a common arrangement. We are anonymous. It's actually incredibly double moral. For the so-called Danish, so-called People's Party, has in fact never had a visionary, constructive and forward-looking policy, for the benefit of Denmark and the rest of European society. This political confluence has in fact always had only, a strongly negative attitude, that criticizes everyone else. In return, the political conspiracy has tried to compensate for this by appearing as a distinct and totally uncompromising, law and order party, that has constantly demanded austerity, and even harsher punishments, for all that the conspiracy does not like. But then it has come to the point, that the inner circle of this unpleasant political confusion, is actually cheating and deceiving, all the European taxpayers, including its own voters. And not the slightest and most discreet hint has emerged, that the political confluence can see something wrong in this. Morten Messerschmidt and Danish People Party, you should have expected us.